Hello and welcome to my new series. I'm going to read the prospectus I put together on this series with you, and you can follow along on the screen, from the basically the script that I wrote for it. Because I know if I don't actually stick to this script, I'm going to jump around, I'm going to ramble, and I'm not going to get the points across that I need to get across to explain what this project is. So this project is going to be called the Po'boys Hash Flare Cloud Mining Experiment. Last year, as a backstory, in 2017, I spent the entire year every week buying a one of those random Steam key boxes where they you buy the keys, you, you get a random amount of them, and find out what you got later. And we documented the whole process, and it was really cool getting all the, the information and the documentation and going to all the different sites and everything and pulling it all together. And that was a fascinating experiment for me. So I wanted to do something that's going to keep me busy for a while, dealing with mining. And that's what this project is about. So that's the basics of it. Now, there's going to be some things in here that we need to go over. So... I realize a lot of people don't have the attention to watch a long video, but this video is going to be longer than I would like, but it's very important that if you want to follow this series, you understand what we're doing and why, well, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, and why you probably shouldn't do it yourself. So the scope of the project, and the, this project's scope is to see the results over the course of two years of doing weekly small investments in a hashflare.io cloud mining. We're going to take about 20 US dollars a week, which would be, say, half the cost of eating fast food for the work week in one year. And then we're going to have another year where the, uh, the contracts run out and term out. Uh, all the gains will be reinvested for a period of one year, starting at the onset of July 8th, I think, or July 7th, whatever that Saturday is first week of July and stop about July 6th 2019 and I'm pretty sure that's the last one that we're going to do uh, and that's when they're all gonna run out right around then um, well that's that's the last one we're gonna do and then they're gonna start running out uh, we're gonna have free declaration and sharing of the results all the results will be uploaded updated daily on a Google shared spreadsheet listed in the description of each video so if you miss one the description, the shared link is not going to change and it is a tiny URL shortened link because Google makes huge links in their uh, shared worksheets. So uh, you can go there, believe me, it's trustworthy. You don't have to worry about it. I'll post the full link below it so you can go to that if you choose, but the tiny URL will be probably the easiest way to get there. Uh, it's gonna be, a, there's gonna be a weekly update video posted on Saturdays. And just to be clear, in the event a Saturday date is unavailable, uh, the video may be posted on Sunday if required, but I'll definitely keep it up. But in case I am not able to post, uh, lose my voice, get sick, uh, any number of things, uh, computer issues, technical problems, uh, the next video will follow rather quickly afterwards. But the goal is to have them up Saturdays. Uh, the videos are going to run from 5-5-2018 through the termination of the project and all open contracts. And... As I mentioned above, we're going to be reinvesting and terminating in July. The basic premise is that by July we'll have hit the baseline, and I'll talk about that in a minute, of what suggested that you actually do an investment in cloud mining. Now, starting off this low, we're nowhere near meeting the difficulty cap. We're, we're contributing very little to the pools that we're in. So July is going to be about the break point where we start reaching that level where people say to start getting in. So that's when things are going to start to count. So everything prior to July is going to be building sufficient daily reserve to generate enough to warrant even reinvesting. Even though things may reinvest before then, in July is probably when we're going to start seeing the ability to reinvest on a more regular basis. Uh, and we've got to cover one thing that's definitely the, the root of this. What is cloud mining? And I'm going to break this down into the most simplistic level possible for the people who are unsure 
Uh, there's hardware mining and there's cloud mining and there's other types of mining as well. But what we're concentrating on is cloud mining. And cloud mining is, in essence, the act of Bitcoin mining without the hassle of having to invest, in hev invest heavily in hardware, electricity, and maintenance yourself. Uh, in other words, you're sharing processing power to remotely remine Bitcoin instead of having anything on site of your own equipment and your own expense. So you pay a fee to use somebody else's stuff and somebody else's power to mine Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever other option you have in your particular cloud mining company. So what's the purpose of this experiment? So I was watching a lot of videos on YouTube on uh, Bitcoin mining, catching up on some things and figuring out some, some stuff I wanted to do. And I started watching videos on cloud mining, which I had never done before. And what I noticed is most of those videos specifically state in there that if you have less than $300 or $500 or $1,000, there is no point whatsoever that you even consider getting into cloud mining. And there's pros and cons, there's, there's everything, but back to my text, uh, as saying, in reviewing many of the Bitcoin mining videos, specifically those dealing with cloud mining, I noticed a trend where large amounts of money were highly recommended to even bother starting this mining journey. Uh, I considered the fact that many, some people may not have access to hundreds or thousands of dollars to meet this threshold. What are those people to do if they want to get started? Uh, I'm unaware of anyone suggesting a method to work up to those figures over time. And I do understand the reasons why those large numbers are strongly recommended. However, I wanted to see if it was possible to break into mining with a modest initial investment and then a weekly follow-up investment that's equally as modest just to see if you can work your way into it uh, basically, I'm focusing on on people who are uh, have commitments that, that take most of their money, but they may have a little bit left over. Uh, they may be able to get into it at some level, but th they're dissuaded from it by these other people saying, don't do it. Now, I want to see what happens if you do. And if you, if you do spend a modest amount and then commit to spending a modest amount every week to upping that figure. Because the key reason why you would want to do it at such a low level is you do not contribute significantly to the pool, so you get very little return off of your money. So this is going to require a lot of patience and a lot of dedication and a lot of discipline. So moving down, and why did I pick a twenty dollar US twenty US dollars a week investment? Uh, I averaged out what, what I might typically spend for lunch at work each week and, and found it would be about $40. And that's a light figure because usually on Fridays I go to a place where lunch on Fridays is, is, is 20 bucks regardless. Uh, so my budget is going to be a lot higher than some other people's because of that day. But uh, I pulled some of my coworkers and I found an average that spending eight to nine dollars a day isn't unheard of. If you if you regularly pay for lunch, you go out, you get some place to get eat something to eat. And uh, I propose that if you spend twenty dollars to buy things to prepare your lunch, and bring your own lunch to work, and then use twenty dollars or so to invest instead of hanging over to McDonald's, Wendy's, or whatever your favorite poison might be. This keeps the figures reasonable for those who don't eat out. This twenty dollars a week isn't horribly steep to invest in your future. I can't really say at this point, now that I'm reading this, that you are investing in your future. So don't take that line as gospel. But if it's your intent to invest in your future, and this does turn out to show positive results, you are investing in your future. If not, then you're trying to invest in your future, I guess. So maybe we'll go with that. So why about $20? Uh, I keep saying every time about $20. Um, so the average cost of purchasing hashing power varies greatly, at least day to day. Uh, when I found, made my initial purchase to establish my account, I spent about twenty-one eighty in Bitcoin. And when I checked back the next day to see what happened with that investment and see what it would cost me to reinvest a little bit, I played around with the slider a little bit to see what I could buy. It was twenty-one sixty to buy the same amount of hashing power, which was twelve mega hash per second hashing power. Uh, that figure is going to be the target that we're going for. So we're not going so much for $20, but the $20 range, but we're going to try to add 12 mega hash, mega hash per second 
a week into our pool that we already have. So the next thing, what can I expect to find in the spreadsheet? Uh, I'm going to update the spreadsheet daily uh, as the results are provided and my schedule allows. While I make every attempt to update this in the early morning, Eastern Standard Time, I can't always promise these figures are going to be available to me. So if there's a delay or other complications, the results will be retroactively added when they are available. So if for a day uh, Hashflare doesn't provide the statistics of what I made that day or I can't get into the website, the following day I would add those back in or the following day after that I would add the previous two days, however it works out. Uh, all relevant daily statistics provided via the Hashflare I.O. website will be inserted in the spreadsheet for review and then summarized monthly and perhaps even quarterly or yearly if warranted or if you guys want me to do that. You just have to let me know. Uh, what do I expect to find? Uh, I expect to find if starting with a small sum and then adding more in weekly reasonable sums to that initial amount will allow somebody to enter into cloud mining in a meaningful way. Uh, I'm aware this is not recommended due to hash complications, lack of return, and requiring huge amounts of patience to see any sort of return or loss. Uh, I don't expect us to gain a large amounts of Bitcoin. I don't expect to see anywhere near the returns buying one terahash would yield. And uh, it'll return or lose money as it does, and those results will be documented and available for you. The problem that I'm finding is putting in $20 and seeing that you made 10 cents for that day is very defeating. So what we're going to have to look at is more of a big picture thing. Uh, I'm also seeing that the more hashing power we invest in, the more likely we are to see a higher level of return. So at such a low level, we are scraping the bottom of the hash pool and just getting a fraction of what we're doing because we're not helping that much. So there's a realistic expectation that we are getting a fair amount for the effort, basically, that we're putting into it. Uh, as we put more money into it, we will contribute more to the pool. We'll contribute more hashing power to overcome the difficulty. And then we we'll might start to see returns that are a little bit more realistic and a little bit more exciting. And if that's the case, then that'll be awesome. But if not, then we'll see how that goes. Uh, so what do you do if you want to play along too? Now, I want you to be aware that any sort of crypto coin dealings are, dealings are volatile and unpredictable. Do not, under any circumstances, commit to more money than you can safely and comfortably lose. Always assume that the money you spend is gone and have no expectation of any return. This is just the same thing as the stock market. If you throw money into something, never expect to get it back out. Always be surprised that you succeeded. It's almost good to be a pessimist in some ways in this and think oh, I'm not going to get anything but don't be so pessimistic that you don't want to look into it as an option but be pessimistic enough to think that you have the potential to lose everything that you put into it now then again the same thing goes if you want to drop eighteen thousand dollars on one tera hash per second hashing power you better be ready to just throw that money in the trash because as much as the price of bitcoin fluctuates no one is saying you're ever going to get that money back out, and your return on investment could be very long. Uh, if you still wish to proceed, then I would really appreciate it if you'd consider signing up using my Hashflare IO affiliate link, but it's not required. The fact that I'm doing this experiment, and if it inspires you, signing up using my link gives me a certain amount of your purchase back as a reward for bringing you to Hashflare. And I'm not counting on that, but uh, I'm offering it. My link is in the description. It's also in the intro, but it's probably easier to catch in the description. I uh, just wanted to let that, put that out there and say, if you want to add me as your affiliate, if you want to sign up with my link, then that would be great. If you don't, I'm not going to worry about it, but it does help me out and it does give me a return on it. So for complete transparency, that is how that works. Now, for transparency's sake, will I be spending cash to buy contracts? No. 
I'll be doing Bitcoin transfers to cover the weekly investments from other mining avenues and investing other mining and investment avenues that I pursued. So rather than use my credit card or debit card or wire transfer, uh, I'll just be transferring Bitcoin because I can do that. You may not be in that situation, and I'm not going to go over the process of purchasing things through Hashflare unless, of course, someone is interested in how that works. Uh, definitely let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see. And I'm, I'm really targeting this as, as a beginner series or a intro series or people who have never done it before kind of things. So if you have very basic questions, definitely ask them. I'll try my best to answer them, but we'll cover why. I, I, I want to go that route here in a minute. So um, the figures of my transfers of Bitcoin won't impact the project at all because I'll still be working with the same amount of money and I'm not going to transfer more than that. Uh, and for the reference, hash, hashflare.io accepts Bitcoin transfers, wire transfers, credit cards, and other things for contract payments. I'm simply opting for Bitcoin transfers because I have that. Uh, how can I keep up with this series easily? All the videos are going to be posted and tagged to a playlist with the name of the series. It'll be easy to find on my channel. I'd suggest that you follow the playlist as well as subscribe to my channel to get the updates. And although I do a lot of different things on my channel, uh, you'll definitely be informed of new videos. You should expect to see those things that actually, if this is your sole interest, would uh, occur on Saturday. So those are the days you want to see the videos. Those are the days you could pay attention to the alerts that I've posted a new video. Anything else is optional, but I definitely at least save that playlist so you can get to it. Uh, what's my motivation for doing this? And getting back to that key unboxing thing that I did, uh, some of my subscribers remember I did a year-long series on those random Steam key packs where you buy them and they give you a, like 10, 50, whatever keys. Uh, where I tracked how much we spent, what we opened in each, what we got. Uh, I enjoyed the statistics of it. I liked seeing how things stacked up. And when I'm told, don't do this, I'd rather find out why than just accept that I can't. So when, when I hear these other guys, who I have great respect for, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that I don't understand why they're saying it, and I'm not saying I don't, un I don't believe them, that you shouldn't do it this way. I just want to prove what happens when you do it this way and they're saying don't do it i want to find out for sure and document why i'd rather not just accept it uh, when you start just blindly accepting things that people tell you without having any evidence or facts behind it i really start to question what exactly you are becoming as a person because when you do that you become very gullible uh, if, if you're just somebody tells you the sky is green and, and you just say oh okay yeah that's great but you think it's blue so, you know figure it out for yourself and 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 go through and just you know get your own answers uh series has a rather long intro i wanted to address this uh, while well, not really a question i wanted to address it uh, yes the series intro is longer than i like however the disclaimer that it has in it is very important all those points need to be expressed every video, and if I forget to mention them, I could be confident that they were at least in the intro. It's key that you realize I'm not advising anyone to try this, nor am I qualified to advise anyone on any matters of finance. I need to warn people that this is purely an experiment, although a very valid one, I would think. And while I invite the curious to follow along, I can't in good conscience advise anyone to even participate in my foolhardy adventures. Uh, am I some sort of crypto expert? Absolutely not. I consider myself to be a hobbyist, and it's probably unlikely I'll be able to answer your in-depth questions about cryptocurrency. It's uh, very likely I'll make a lot of mistakes, but mistakes are how you learn things. And I'd like to think this is an opportunity for us all to learn together. Uh, I'm quite happy to take advice from others. Uh, you can email me. My email address is uh, phase888 at gmail.com. Or if you don't want to write that down, you can click on my About link in my YouTube channel and go to where it says uh, like business proposition or something and send me an email or you could post your suggestions in the comments at any time uh, and again by no means am I any sort of expert on cryptocurrency I'm no guru about it if you want to learn more I'd, I'd suggest 
some channels like JNS Vlogs, J Crypto, or Everything Crypto Jeff. Those guys are really good, and they can go really in depth with what's working and what what things you should be focusing on. Uh, but if you're watching this video, I'm I'm thinking you're probably not their target audience, even though there's no reason they shouldn't be curious about these things. But they deal more on a a, a bigger scale. We're doing this on a like a microscopic scale compared to what most people get into cryptocurrency in. But I just I just realized that there's nobody exploring the the lower levels of this without having huge amounts of money behind it or huge amounts of computer equipment to throw at it or huge amounts of anything. And, and nobody is just just saying, uh, like, for example, I'm a family guy. I got kids. I got I got bills. I got a house I got to pay for. I got car payments. I got everything else. But hey, I got 20 bucks a week I can throw into this if it helps out and it does work or it seems like it'll work, which we're going to see more of as things go on. And if that is a possibility and you can wisely invest your money to make some money and glean something from this series, and this series is going to be very long, it's going to be more than 100 videos, and they're going to be weekly. So we're looking at a two-year-plus span that we're going to cover this experiment. Uh, it could crash and burn at any time. We're mining in a pool that has maintenance fees. If we reach a point where we don't cover the maintenance fees for the hashing power that we have, our contracts will start to terminate. So we'll need to figure out how to deal with that then. But those are the important things that I wanted to cover about the series. The first video is going to be Saturday the 5th, which will be, well, as I post this, it'll be tomorrow. And in that video, I'm going to cover more money, more monetary things, more about what we did, how I got there, and where things look. Uh, we'll have results for, I think, two days then. And Sunday, I will purchase the next cycle of um, hashing power, and then we'll review what happened during the week. So I hope you enjoy the series. I hope you find it interesting, and I definitely hope you subscribe to the channel to keep up with it. I think it's going to be interesting. I know why these people are saying don't get into this with less than three, five hundred, a thousand dollars, because the difficulty of the hashing rate and everything like that, it just really complicates you making anything reasonable off of this, and it just makes what you're doing look very defeating. I'm not so concerned about that. If if you're in a situation where twenty dollars is all you have, the the ability to make five, ten cents a day for a minimal investment and then the next week increase that to double it is not a horrible situation. Now, if it doesn't work out and we end up at a point where the, the bell curve makes it so we can't cover the maintenance fees and we start having problems, then we at least have backed up why you can't do it with fact. Rather than just somebody saying don't do it or can't do it, and then and then we, we, have, we have documentation now to show why. So I think that alone is worth following the series and I've got some other mining things I want to do uh, actually in full honesty I wanted to do a series on um, storage mining where you uh, use your hard drives to rent space and I wanted to do an extended series on that however by the time I got the equipment set up got all the drives set up got all the hardware I needed got the USB hub that I needed I got all the parts uh, storage had shut down uh, signups so I was not able to sign up for an account because it measures reliability so if I signed up for an account technically I don't have a system together I couldn't get that set up so when storage comes back I'll also be adding storage mining into a series as well so there's gonna be some other stuff but the storage series was supposed to be starting uh, last week and I have not gotten my invite for storage and it's probably gonna be a couple months before we do so we'll see how that works out but I had just retired one of my Raspberry Pis and got a new Raspberry Pi 3b plus and uh, got some uh, USB drives out of a box that I used to have in laptops and I, I just got all the cables to get them hooked up to the Raspberry Pi through a USB 3 hub 
and found out I was not able to start a storage account to start storage mining. So I had to come up with something new that I wanted to do, mainly while we wait for storage to come around. But I really wanted to do something with mining and I really want to do something with crypto because I'm interested in it. And if I'm doing something with it, then I have cause to go explore and learn more. So that's really what I'm doing here. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, there will be another video on the 5th of May 2018 that will show what happened on the days that we had it. And they are always going to be one day behind because you don't see the results from the day that you're currently in until the following day. So it, it's confusing, but I'll get there when we get the spreadsheet and we'll go over that. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later and hopefully in the future videos, I'll be able to get my camera involved when we're going over the spreadsheet. But I really didn't want to distract anything from this document. I wanted you to be able to read it and I wanted everything to be clear and I didn't want any distraction because this establishes the baseline for the video. All right, this went on way longer than I wanted it to. I apologize for that, but I wanted to be very clear what this project is trying to accomplish. And again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I will talk to you guys later and we can discuss more things crypto. Have a nice night.